Hey guys, Zivalid here, back with another uh, update. I might make these weekly update thingy majiggers. Uh, once a week on Fridays, afternoon, obviously. That's when I get home from that wretched place known as school, which I don't have to go to on Monday because of Veterans Day, so. Thanks, in other words. <laughs> uh. Why we get that day off, I'm not really sure, but I'm not complaining. But, uh, I just wanted to let you guys know I started a new group on uh, DeviantArt. The only group I've started, actually. The only one I actually plan to start, because, well, I don't want to create stress and confusion amongst myself and members of my group, so, yeah. So, Probably wondering what it is. Well, if you know what I've been BSing about for the past few months, uh, you probably know what it is. And if you don't, I'll tell you. It's uh, Gargoyles Villains. And if you want to know what the group's about, uh, drag the little circle thingy on the bar, the red bar that moves forward, the, the, the video progression circle thingy, and drag that back a few seconds, and you'll realize what the group's about. Yeah, or just listen here. It's about Gargoyles Villains. It's completely dedicated to Gargoyles Villains or just pictures of the heroes getting the crap beat out of them. But <laughs> I'm so mean. Not really. But, uh, the first piece of art, pieces of art I submitted to it were actually, uh, ghost versions of Gargoyles characters. I used this app called Bloody Ghosts. No, it's not. British. Bloody Ghosts! But, uh, um, it's, uh, it's a cool app. I get to take the Gargoyles characters, drag some spooky crap all over them, and, uh, make them look scary as heck, so, yeah. <laughs> and the logo for Gargoyles Villains is, uh, Actually, the video game logo, which is basically gargoyles letters with fire in it, because I think that looks kind of, well, B.A., if you know what I'm getting at. And then, uh, there's a picture of Demona and Baylog on it. Demona is the evil gargoyle chick with the tiara, and, uh, Baylog is a clone of the gargoyle clan leader, Goliath. So, if you want more on them, Google it. <laughs> I'm not going to waste my vlog-ish video time explaining who these characters are. Or just read my fan fictions. That might help, I don't know. But, uh... So, other stuff. Well, I've been getting lots of comments on the Halloween Gargoyles, and thanks, guys. That's pretty cool that you're digging it just as much as DeviantArt is. I just made a quick three minute video about it, so if you want, you can check that out on the channel. The link is underneath the video, because I don't think I need to type the link when there's a link right there. You can just click on the title name, and it, it, it will take you to my channel. Isn't that amazing? Okay, I'm not gonna act like a stupid noob, but uh. <laughs> yeah, but that actually took me roughly two hours and a half to make, and I'll probably spend another two hours and a half making a sick, nasty crossover. If you guys know who Spawn is, you must know who the Violator is. He's the giant gray guy with three horns and the longest freaking jaw I've ever seen. Well, I'm going to make him and Demona in a picture. Demona's going to have probably a fully armed and loaded RPG. <laughs> I don't know, she's going to have some kind of gun. Probably a machine gun, maybe. Because she's all about the guns and not the, the pecs. She's all about the freaking blast your face off guns, which is not good. <laughs> so I'm going to make her and Violator standing next to it. Well, actually, Violator's going to be behind her because he's so freaking tall. It, you'll see it. You'll see it probably tomorrow or Sunday, depending on when I get off my butt and dry. And then another character I made for Gargoyles is Scar. He's a combination of actual Disney villains. Uh... I took uh, Scar from The Lion King, Shere Khan from The Jungle Book, Shan Yu from Mulan, and if you say you don't know who Shan Yu is, I'm going to hire some Huns to come and get you. 
Yeah, he's a hun. Duh. And Clayton from Tarzan. And if you don't know who Clayton from Tarzan is, you're just a noob. <laughs> because everyone knows how he dies. It's not pretty. <laughs> but, uh, that's not how my guy dies. But, uh, Scar is a freaking evil as crap. Hunter leads a group of guys called Demon Hunters, and he's got a freaking hawk. It's, it's, he's cool. He's cool. Now, uh, what else? Toy pickups. Alrighty. I like to inform you guys that my Kmart has a uh, Skyquake. The Cyberverse Skyquake Commander Class. I'll get him next week or Thanksgiving week. I don't know when. But I will get him soon. Because no one buys anything from my Kmart. They still had the freaking Viacon there from two weeks ago. I do... I crap you not. He was still there. Well, I think he might still be there. He's actually worth the eighteen ninety nine when you think about it, because everyone scalps and puts him on YouTube for 50 they, also, they still had Rumble. They still had Cup. I think they still had Knockout. They still... They obviously still had Bumblebee. <laughs> Excuse me. I've also seen a couple Star Screams and Bulkheads here, and I don't think I've seen a Dreadwing yet. Although I haven't looked at the Voyagers, really, because I don't want to look at the price tag. But, uh, yeah, I also have seen, I'm well aware of the new TF Prime figures. Bumblebee actually looks halfway decent now. <laughs> all they did would have to armor him up and give him 50 cannons, and I'm all for it. Soundwave looks kind of cool. Uh, I like that it comes with Ravage. I'm pretty sure that Ravage comes with him. And, uh, I'm also liking the fact that we're getting Unicron. Uh, I've seen the Unicron. He looks okay. A little bit too much orange, but what can you do? <laughs> and I also saw the Predaking. He looks cool. <laughs> I actually wanted a Transformer that turned it into a Black Dragon and named... I would have named him Overlord. Go figure. But, uh, they beat me to it and named him Predaking, which I can see that. So, uh, apparently, the Predacons might be coming into Transformers Prime. I don't know about that. I just kind of hope we get a Shockwave for TF Prime. Oh, speaking of Transformers, I do actually plan to... I'm a member of a group on DeviantArt that's official TFA Gargoyles, TF Transformers Animated Gargoyles. And uh, I asked if I could, well, I actually told the founder that I was going to do Shockwave and they were all for it. So basically I'm going to take Shockwave from Transformers Animated and make him a gargoyle. So in other words, I'm going to have this freaky cyclop hit guy wearing a hood with horns, antler-like horns, and... He's, I'm going to give him a freaking sniper. <laughs> I'm going to make him an assassin, basically. Because th I think that looks cool. Plus, Shockwave was a spy in the original Transformers animated, so I think it would fit. Now, uh, other picks I'm going to make. That's really it. Maybe Spawn and Angela from Gargoyles. But, uh, that's about it. So if you want to check out Gargoyles Villains, I'd much appreciate it. It's on DeviantArt.com. I ain't going to put the link in the description because I failed to actually make a successful link in the last vlog-ish video. Also, I have not forgotten about the two hero factories I still need. I still need Breeze and Bulk from uh, Summer 2012 line. I plan to get those first week of December. Something like that. So I'm going to get the... Those two, my mom's probably going to get me one because I usually get a Christmas present early. I know what it is. <laughs> I might know what it is, but it's nice. I, li I like early bird stuff. Uh, it must be my dad in the garage. but uh... So the cool thing is I will get two Hero Factory reviews out in the next coming uh, weeks. More Skylanders unboxings on the way, too. I plan to get Light Core... Prison break and rupture tomorrow, hopefully. I just made 20 bucks. <laughs> and uh, I know they're 11.99, but come on. <laughs>
So I actually have made 38 bucks, but 10 I'm donating to uh, a gift for another person. Well, actually, I don't know them. It's uh, something to do with the radio. They have like kid. They list kids and what they want for Christmas. I'm putting 10 bucks towards something this one kid wants. Some nice guy, and I'm also donating uh, something to Toys for Tots, which is probably going to be Hot Wheels five packs. Those are cheap as crap. <laughs> I'm not being cheap, I'm being thoughtful, because everyone likes Hot Wheels, not everyone likes Transformers, or Gargoyles. If you don't like Gargoyles, what the heck is wrong with you? Okay, I'm just kidding, but, uh, yeah, Skylanders unboxings, this, is, I apologize, this update might be long. I'm probably gonna call these weekly updates, um, so basically my vlogs. So, Skylanders unboxings, look forward to the two light course tomorrow. And then, uh, Terrafin version 2 next week, or the week of Thanksgiving, depending on when I get Skyquake. I might get Skyquake next week, I'm debating, depending on how much I make, too. And then, uh, Lightcore Drobot, since Drobot was in my top, uh, 16, basically. And, uh, Zook version 2. So, that, that should take me up to Christmas, I think. Uh, I might wind up... I might not wind up getting any of the new characters, because I want to get them on Christmas, because I actually like to play as the ones I get now, because it makes sense to get ones I have, and then get them all ready, then to get ones I don't have, and not be able to do jack crap with them. I know you're probably wondering, what does the Overlord want for Christmas? Well, I'm going to make that tonight, but I will tell you guys now. Uh, Skylanders Giants is on the top of the list. Gargoyles, definitely on the top of the list. Spawn stuff, definitely on the top of the list. Uh, Viacon, again, top of the list. The last two Hero Factories for the Breakout 2012 line, which are Storm Rexel and Speed of Demon. Uh, I would like those, uh, what else? The Monster Fighter sets from LEGO, anyone's will do, except the Polybag, well, the one Polybag that was a mail-in thingy, they sent it to you when you spent a certain amount of money, I don't have that, that was one of the zombie cars, I believe. What else? Uh, shiitake. Other Skylanders Giants characters, uh, other Transformers, basically Transformers, Gargoyle, Spawn, and Skylanders, Giants, and Legos. There you go. This general idea. And Gargoyles I've seen on eBay relatively cheap, and Skeleton Warriors too. Those would be nice. But, uh, I gotta finish this up, but, uh, that's about all I gotta say, and my dad, uh, just told me he got some Kroger's Halloween Hot Wheels. I'd like to see them and uh, either unbox them or show them to you guys. I would love to do that. He just got a box of clamshells, which are Hot Wheels uh, case protectors, box protectors, package protectors, whatever you prefer. And I did wind, it, wind up opening that Super Key Hunt from uh, the K-Day event. It's actually pretty nice. I keep it in my cabinet. The box was already pretty freaking dinged up, but, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, weekly update, uh, I have lots and lots of stuff coming up for you guys in the next couple of weeks and December, and I hope you stay tuned for those vids, and, uh, I hope you guys enjoy what I got coming for you, and I will see you all later with, uh, hopefully some more Skylanders unboxings.